Hello everyone, I'm Stacia Ertis and this is the Business Journal Daily Buzz for Monday, December 7th, 2009. Today's Business Journal Daily Buzz is brought to you by Columbiana Ford. Our top story, VXI Global Solutions is growing faster than expected at its new downtown location. This is video from the ribbon cutting in October at 20 Federal Place. VXI has already brought on half of the 500 employees it expected to hire in its first year. City Economic Development Director Sharon Woodbury says the company should reach 500 employees by the end of the first quarter of 2010. The City Board of Control has approved an agreement with U.S. Plaza Parking to lease the top level of the parking deck for VXI employees for $5,000 per month. The free parking provides provided by the city as part of the incentive package to attract the company to Youngstown. Read more of George Nelson's story on our website, businessjournaldaily.com. Warren Fire Equipment launches a new company called Firebird Apparatus Service. Warren Fire sells equipment to fire departments and to local companies. The new subsidiary will provide mobile inspection and maintenance services for 467 fire stations in the five-county area. The new owner of the Holiday Metroplex Hotel and Conference Center in Liberty Township is calling on banks to start lending again. Indira Sami is part of the investment group that's taken over the hotel. She says difficulty in obtaining bank financing led her and her hospitality group to put up their own money. They plan to put $2 million in renovations into the property. Liberty Township Administrator Pat Angaro agrees, saying development is taking off in Liberty with the long-awaited Walmart and the ribbon cutting of the Aaron store, but that more projects would likely get underway if financing were more readily available. The Treasury Department now says the cost of the U.S. bank bailout will be less than expected. The Treasury Department has reduced the projected long-term cost of the $700 billion TARP program. The Obama administration originally said the cost to taxpayers would be $341 billion, but that's now been reduced by $200 billion, down to $141 billion, in part because of Treasury investments that are delivering higher returns. Another executive change for General Motors. Tim Lee will head up GM's international operations. Lee is the vice president for global manufacturing and labor relations. This is GM and its main Chinese partner, Shanghai Automotive Industries, last week announced a venture to sell vehicles in India. The biggest climate talks in history are underway in Copenhagen. 15,000 delegates from 190 nations are being urged to agree on immediate action to curb greenhouse gases and come up with a billion dollars in aid and technology to help the poor. Women business owners are seeing signs of economic recovery. According to a survey conducted by the Center for Women's Business Research, 54 percent say they believe business conditions will improve in the next six months. 42 percent are already seeing improvement in net earnings. 40 percent saw an increase in sales. And only 7 percent say they believe the economy will get worse. Revenue from slots in Pennsylvania saw a big jump in November. Pennsylvania's nine slots casinos generated a combined $166.3 million in gross revenue. That's a 26.7 percent increase over November of 2008. The Commonwealth's tax take on that amounted to $91.5 million. The tax money in part is slated to go to the reduction of local property taxes. Palo Creative out of Letonia is celebrating its 10th anniversary. Founder Rob Palowitz says his client base continues to increase, with the company growing from a one-man catalog design company to a full-service ad agency. And the Business Journal Daily Buzz continues in 15 seconds. Boardman Medical Supply is the right choice for home medical equipment. For the best selection of products and services, call Boardman Medical Supply, the right choice. In the December issue of the Business Journal, reporter Marilyn Kubik spotlights J.L. Treeharn and Company in her special series, Made in the Valley. A carpenter by trade, Jerry Treeharn decided to pursue his passion for woodworking in the mid-1980s. At the suggestion of an antiques dealer in Austintown, Jack Reese, he started manufacturing reproduction antique furniture, like this table and these chairs. Treeharn's furniture is made using only the finest wood and with many of the same tools and processes of craftsmen 200 years ago. Our furniture is made as, as 
the same way that it was made in the 17, 1800s, square pegs, dovetails. We don't cheat anywhere. We don't use plywood. Our furniture is made just the way it was then. Treehart's children now oversee the 16-person operation in the lower level of the Ward Bakery building in downtown Youngstown. The furniture is sold in more than 100 specialty stores throughout the U.S., including locally at Meander Hill Antiques in Austintown. Our, our small end tables uh, are just little occasional pieces, and they sell for $200 up to our, like our bonnet top secretaries, which are around $25,000. Hear more from the Treehorns in our three minutes with interview on our website, businessjournaldaily.com. And that's the Daily Buzz for this Monday. I'm Stacia Ertis. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Isn't it time to buy a Ford? Come to Columbiana Ford where we make driving affordable.